Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the Priorities Program. This is a program where we sit with teenagers and we discuss the things that are important to them. So we talk about all issues, anything that's important in their lives. And today we have three special guests with us. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Can you introduce yourselves to everybody? Uh, my name is Adam and I'm 16 years old. Hello, everyone. I'm Ertuğrul and I'm 16. Hello, my name is Mustafa and I am 15. And the world's going to be really excited, Ertuğrul, because Everybody loves your name. <laughs> so, yes, it's the same name. So, guys, uh, as I said, so Priorities is a program where we're just talking about issues that are important to the youth or that come up in your lives. And today we're going to talk about role models. Are role models important? Let's start it off. I think they are important because we try to do things uh, like they do. And they are important because of this. I think they are important because they show us a path like uh, if we choose someone as a role model to us we see their um, opinions are uh, important to us and we care about their ideas uh, and the other thing is um, i think role models are important because um, we have their moves in our lives so we add them if we think that they are cool so we start to follow them. Yeah, so. we integrate it into yes. our lives. Yeah. So, Ertra, let me ask you, Erdem said that uh, what what our role models, like what they do if we find it cool, is that the only thing that's important for role models? What's, what makes a good role model? If they have uh, good behaviors, uh, I will imitate them. Then uh, if they attend a good job, I, I would want to uh, join them. Uh, for example, a charity job. Uh, if my role model want uh, join there, uh, I would also want to join there because my role model attended and uh, it's a good job and it's useful for everyone. It's, uh, it's a ch charity job. Uh, also, I don't think uh, my role model should be cool. My, for example, my uh, role model is Fatih Sultan Mehmet, Kankir. He's a conqueror of Istanbul. And uh, he is also te teen, and uh, he know he knows lots of languages. Also, I love uh, learning languages, and I, I love the people who learn who learns la languages. Also, linguist, and uh, his uh, war strategy is good for me. Uh, in my opinion, uh, he is the just person who can uh, conquer Istanbul. It's an interesting example. I love that example. Can you, what about the two of you guys? Can you give me? Do you have any specific role models that you that come to your mind right away? People that you think are your model, role models? He is different because uh, he uh, tells us uh, stories uh, uh, about their life and about prophets, and he says something about our life. Uh, like uh, we like to do something and. Uh, he talks about it. Uh, this is why uh, he's my role model. You know, it's um, it's cool for me to hear you guys give different examples. Like Erdem, you talked about somebody, like how it was important that they were cool for you. And and uh, Ertuğrul, you chose a really important figure from history, but chose really relevant examples. And, and Mustafa, you chose somebody that is somebody very much a part of your life right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but one of the things that stood out to me is that you talked about the stories, right? And that making it applicable to our lives. And I think that that's something that's so important. When we look at Islam, of course, we see that the best example is the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. And then after that, he always told us that the best example after him was his companions. Um, and when we look at them, we see that they were very, very different people. Some of them were very strict, some of them were very gentle, some of them were tradesmen, some of them were farmers, some of them were rich, some were they were poor. And I think that we, it's, we can all choose different role models and our role models can, we can take different parts of them that apply to our lives, just like you guys chose different role models. Sometimes I hear youth say, I don't have a role model. Do you think that's possible? I think uh, this is not possible because there are a lot of people in the world and everyone affects on each other um, for ideas or uh, moves that we do in our uh, uh, lives. Okay, good stuff there. What do you think, okay. Ertura? Is it Can somebody not have a role model? I don't think so. I think the easiest example is that your family, your mother and father, you imitate uh, what, what they do and what are their uh, habits. You also uh, can uh, have the same habits with them. 
Uh, also, I want to add this. Uh, our Prophet uh, وسلم, uh, say uh, on a language, I don't know which language is that, and uh, to communicate with someone uh, who is foreign. And uh, also, after I uh, hear this hadith, uh, I started to uh, just learn something because uh, just uh, say us uh, learn something. This is knowledge and uh, just improve yourself in the, this world. But after here, you also show uh, your deeds uh, uh, because Islam needs, requires the uh, powerful teenagers. Also, uh, I want to be a polyglot in the future maybe because uh, I really like that. Uh, can you imagine that uh, every country that you go uh, in the world, er, in the even corner of the world, you can go and you can communicate with the people and uh, you don't have any, yeah, any difficulties. I think that's the, perf that's it, this, is, this is the perfect thing. You know, something that you said made me so emotional, Ertuğrul, um, is that when you said that like, Islam needs strong youth. And I think that that's, so true and so important and I think this is this is why I wanted to start this program actually is because I think your ideas are so important and I think that the things that you have to say are so important and somebody may see this program and think well role models like big deal why are they talking about that but it's first of all I think the world needs to see how important it is that our youth have strong role models but I want the world to see that you guys are the role models of our future and so let me ask you Mustafa do you see yourself as a role model I don't see uh, myself as a role model, but I could be because maybe someone saw something to, uh, from me and he updated uh, their life, uh, something uh, from my life. What do you think, Erdem? Are you a role model? Maybe in the future I can be a role model, but I think now uh, I might be a role model because we lived in this world, like I'm 16 years old and we went to school and somewhere else. Uh, someone might uh, saw us and think his moves and ideas uh, is good and took himself as a example example for yeah, me yeah absolutely do you guys ha uh, do you have uh, brothers or sisters yes uh, yeah. yeah then i would argue you guys are role models and and even with your classmates um, you know when i first approached you guys about coming on to this program like you guys were brave enough to do it not everybody was brave enough right yes. but and i think that takes that that makes you a, a role model in some instances and now you guys are out into the social media world, everybody's going to see you now. And, you know, maybe this video will be like, okay, well, I want to learn a language like them, or I yeah. want to be brave like them, or, you know, whatever, whatever they might see in you guys, inshallah. One of the things that uh, the Prophet Muhammad, he told us is that, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is that the best of you is the one who is best in character. And, you know, 90, they say, they can say up to 95% of our behavior, the things that we learn, we learn just from observing people. So even if you don't know you're a role model to somebody, yes. you're probably a role model to somebody, <laughs> right? And even if you think you don't have a role model, we probably have a role model. Yes. And I always think it's interesting that Muslims, like Muslim youth say, I don't have a role model because the best example, of course, is the Prophet Wasallam. And I think that if we can live with his manner, then inshallah we will be role models to other people in different countries when we travel and speak those languages. Yes. Mustafa, one of the things that I took away from our conversation today is that how important it is for me as a teacher to make sure that the history of our prophet or our companions is being relayed to the youth in a way that is relevant to you guys. Um, are there other suggestions that you guys have for the adults in your life or the teachers in your life or people hmm. in terms of how we can be better role models for you? Actually, I have a few. When you talk about something, you should be simple and people uh, would listen to you more patiently. Uh, if you talk in their languages, like the way they like, mm -hmm. uh, you can be a better role, role model and they will, they want to choose you as their role model. Yeah, yeah. being relevant yeah, is you, really you got to be like, you're one of them uh, when, you, um, when you're talking to someone or... I think that's really good advice. Arturo? advice you have for parents or adults about okay. how to be a good woman? I think uh, no, uh, no one can, cannot prevent us from uh, bad behaviors uh, who is doing them. And for example, uh, one guy smoking and uh, he cannot say me, can, you, you shouldn't smoke because uh, you just apply it first and say me, tell me. And if, if I see on you uh, that works on you, 
And I can say that uh, it th this works and uh, this is benefit for me and uh, I can apply it on me. And that's the, I think, cleanest point that I should apply on me. And uh, a role model should uh, has this uh, qualification. Definitely. Mustafa, any advice that you have for for adults or people that are watching this, maybe teachers? Uh, and yeah, if you want to be a role model, just try to be funny and try to say something from our life and uh, your life, uh, from for uh, our likes. Yeah, and I think that that is, I mean, that's a really good point, right? Like, we need to make ourselves relevant to you guys. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is a really, this is an important point to me that keeps coming up in different episodes because what I'm seeing is that a lot of the youth feel like what's going on around them is not relevant to them. And I think that one of the, that's, that the adults that are watching this, the message that we need to take is that we need to do a better job asking you guys what's important to you. Yes. Because if we really understood what was important in your life, then we would try and make that a primor priority, right? We would connect with you, but right now there's this disconnect, right? And so I think that, yeah, that, that's something that we need to talk about as adults, as administrators, as, as a team, and we need to hear more of your voices. And I think that's the point of this program is making sure your voices get heard. So thank you guys for coming today and thank you for being role models for other youth and thank you for saying that this is important. And I do hope that any adults or educators or administrators that are listening do take that message that in order, if you want to be a role model to these youth, that we need to connect with them and we need to hear their words. So guys, may you guys always remember that you are a role model to somebody and that the best role model for us is the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. And as long as you live with his character, inshallah, we will always be on the straight path. So make that a priority in your life. And to help you guys remember, we have a gift for you. So the name of the program is Priorities. And so I hope you guys remember this program and remember the things that we talked about and make a priority in your life. So Erdem. Thank you. You're welcome. And Ertudo. And Mustafa. Thanks for coming, guys. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you tune in to all the other Priorities conversations that we have. Um, and please leave any comments below about ideas that you have or role models that you follow or anything that came up in the conversation today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Assalamu alaikum.